Oh, oh, we call this room Fat Board. Fat Board. Yeah. Keith Haring started work activity in the subway of New York. Oh, really? As you can see, this is the actual advertisement board. Oh, yeah. Wow. Art is for everyone. Mm -hmm. that, that is his word. Mm -hmm. And that is his motto. There's anything that's accessible, it's probably the subway. Like for example in Japan as well, when it comes to the subway, there's no social class that doesn't take the subway, that takes the subway. It's like everyone takes the subway. That's it's a mode true. of transportation that's for everyone. What I'm noticing here though is he erased A for America. I wonder if that's intentional. <laughs> Maybe. Or am I just Maybe. thinking too much? The artwork is just for rich people. Yeah. He tried to show the art That's for true. many people. When I was in Los Angeles a few weeks ago, um, we passed by Skid Row. Mm -hmm. And Skid Row is one of the places with like a lot of homeless people and like the homeless problem over there. Mm -hmm. And then like a few blocks away from Skid Row was The Broad. And The Broad is one of the most famous museums in the US mm -hmm. or like in California. And a lot of rich people are at The Broad looking at art when like a few blocks away are just like a lot of homeless people. I think that's what I like about Keith Haring. It's just art accessible for everyone. Okay, so as I said, uh, Keith Haring's motto was art is for everyone. He started a new project, yeah. pop shop. He opened a shop and he created his artwork in t-shirt and many things. Like, t-shirt is accessible for everyone. That's true. Yeah, and this artwork actually a collaboration with Andy Warhol. Mm -hmm. You can see the, uh, the signature. Yeah. Honestly, this looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Movement. Movement. Uh, the title is Sweet Saturday Night. Sweet Saturday Night. Yeah. That's me after two tequila shots. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's true. <laughs> I can see a lot of figures of people. Yeah. And I like that there are a lot of lines as well that stick, um, that symbolizes movement. Mm -hmm. The painting is still, you can still feel the movement. And as you said, like this is all about movement. None of them are moving, but because of all the lines and because of the intention, you see that it's moving. Especially these lines that are around the people, they seem to make the people come alive in a way. <laughs> come alive. <laughs> My favorite. I know oh. it's your favorite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Title is Bad Boy. Bad boys. bad boys. I see bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> when I first came here and when I first saw this before, I didn't know exactly what I was looking at until you like actually look at each one. And for example, with this one, it looks like, oh look, lines, squiggly lines. But if you actually look at it, this is like a cross section of a human. And you can see like the insides. This is a hand penetrating <laughs> something. And you can see here as well, it's just like a lot of squiggly lines. But if you actually look at it, it's a person lying down and another person's hands and mouth and a... Uh, <laughs> this, one's, this one's so obvious. That one's really obvious. I actually don't know if that's one person or two people. Yeah, because like, the penis is going inside something. That's actually one of the main reasons I really like Keith Haring's art, is because Keith Haring is always very sex positive, and mm. Keith Haring is never ashamed to talk about sex, especially gay sex. Because um, for years, even to this day, how come heterosexual sex is very normalized? You just see that in movies, it's very romanticized, but when it comes to gay sex, it has to be like a very specific, it's very categorized, like, oh, this is like gay sex. Why can't like, sex just be sex? In a lot of like other places, like gay sex is seen as something that is taboo. That's true. But and I it's very fetishized. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I think it's good that Keith Haring like uses it as a theme. And it's, that's true. Uh, it is a theme. The word of the day is theme. <laughs> this artwork is very rare of him. He used the uh, brush and smooth. Yeah, but it felt different. That's true, that's yeah, true. Yeah, it felt different. And I think that's why. I didn't know what it was, but I think it is the thickness of the lines. That's true. Uh, our founder, Nakamura, made this light. It, it meant to be the brightest of the morning. Actually, they calculated the, the brightness of really? it around here. Because morning is really hopeful. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. See, that's why I'm so shook with like this museum and with all the art. Like I said, everything is intentional. Even the brightness of the light is intentional. It's intentional. It's wow. insane. Some people just be like thinking about everything. 
yeah. you should start, you should start. <laughs> He doesn't really show any certain race, he doesn't show any certain gender, they're just people. He never really genders his paintings and yeah, and like when he draws people as well, they're just people. And in that sense, because no one is included, everyone is included. I think it's like he uses colors to distinguish people, like to say that everyone is different. But since like the colors are like vibrant and they are like not skin color, like um, in a way, he's saying that everyone is like the same. Like he doesn't show gender, race, or like beliefs or anything like that with his paintings. Like with the facelessness also of his paintings, like you can't see that they are this race or that race. So, That's true. Yeah, in that way, I think he's saying that like all people are the same, but also different. Yeah, like the colors. That's true. Everyone is the same, but everyone is different because everyone has different colors. <laughs> <laughs> the thickness of the lines are the same with every single person even when they're behind or even when they're in front it also shows how everyone is the same at the end you know what i'm saying equality equality, equality. the word of the day is equality, equality. <laughs> most of his sculpture is symbolized uh, hip-hop or capoeira represent the movement of dance Mm, yeah. yeah. I heard that at some point Keith Haring was also into hip hop. So I guess like that, yeah, inspired some of his art. Yes, yeah, so that's true. And a fun fact actually, when Keith Haring was drawing a lot of his art, a lot of especially like the movement ones and the dancing ones, mm -hmm. Keith Haring would always listen to hip hop. It was said that every stroke he would go to the beat of the hip hop. Maybe that's why a lot of the artwork is like dancing. Yeah.